Hi, my name is Justin Koch, the project manager for the Caltech Robotics team here in Pasadena, California. We're really excited to head down to San Diego this year for the 2014 AUVSI RoboSub competition. Before I introduce our entry for the competition this year, here's a little bit more about our team and its history. Our team is currently comprised of more than 20 undergraduates spanning all of the departments here at Caltech. The team is divided into four sub-teams, electrical, mechanical, programming, and most importantly, fundraising. Our faculty mentor is Professor Joel Burdick, who specializes in robotics, kinematics, mechanical systems, and control. The Caltech Robotics team began three years ago with our entry into the Rascal RoboOps competition. We designed and built a Mars rover that was capable of transversing difficult terrain picking up colored rocks. The vehicle is operated remotely from Pasadena while being driven at the Johnson Space Center. As a rookie team, we placed second overall. This year, we decided to enter the RoboSub competition because we wanted a new set of technical challenges and wanted to learn about the unique problems of autonomy and of building a waterproof vehicle. When first designing our vehicle, Bruce, we focused on adjustability as well as modularity in order to allow rapid modification of the vehicle over time. The foundation of our vehicle is an anodized aluminum 8020 frame propelled by six brushless high power thrusters. The thrusters are mounted with custom designed hardware machined in house on a fit all CNC mill. This allows us to control five degrees of freedom when maneuvering using a custom designed opto isolator board. The various electrical components are contained within four unique waterproof pressure holes. Our primary pressure hole carries the main computer, which runs a full Ubuntu Linux operating system. Bruce interprets his surroundings with many sensors, including a barometric pressure sensor, an external pressure transducer, and bumblebee stereoscopic cameras. We also have a custom machine sensor enclosure, which contains a Doppler velocity logger and an attitude and heading reference system. All the higher level functionality of the vehicle is achieved through custom developed software built on an Ubuntu Linux operating system that includes a custom shared memory library, message communication, vision, and control system. Once our primary build was complete, our vehicle underwent several weeks of extensive testing, both in the water and out. Because I'm happy, clap along if you feel like a